जब सोई हो तुम जाग जाते हो पहले रब के सामने तुम हाथ धाते हो फिर मखलूक की खिदमत में तुम झुक जाते हो दूध की ये नेमत हम तक पहुंचाते हो तूने जीवन की तस्वीरें रंगों में है ढाली तेरे दम से है आती हर घर में खुशहाली खुशहाली हो चलते फिरते तेरे मवेशी एक अनमोल खजाना है हर बीमारी हर तकलीफ से तुमने इन्हें बचाना है याद है रखना तुमने अपनी पैदावार बढ़ाना है आ गई और इलम के हर पहलू को अपनाना है वो जो सेहतमंद कौम समझो हमने मंजिल पाली खुशहाली हो खुशहाली आज से है ये अजम हमारा और खुद से भी है पैमान तंदुरुस्ती और सेहत बनेगी यूं ही हम सबकी पहचान धरती होगी शान हमारी हम होंगे धरती का मान तेरी हमने खुशहाली की राहों में मारी है जान और तरक्की की ये राहें हम सबने है अपना ली खुशहाली हो Assalamu alaikum viewers, Dr. Nasir and Ruby Anam, your hosts, are back with a program on calf rearing from our dairy hub training programs. Viewers, it is estimated that presently 15 million young animals exist in Pakistan. These young animals are bred according to outdated traditional methods, due to which they suffer from malnutrition and other problems, which eventually result in their inability to yield better milk and meat production in future, which they would otherwise be capable of if raised properly. You have raised a very good point, Ruby. In Pakistan, there is more than 30% mortality rate amongst young animals in Pakistan, due to which the country is deprived of a big chunk of milk and meat. The basic reason for this high mortality is the lack of knowledge about modern dairy farming practices and continuation of old-fashioned methods of calf rearing. To talk about modern methods of calf rearing and how this would contribute towards considerable profits in dairy farming, we have invited the Honorable Professor Dr. Talat Nasir Pasha. Dr. Professor Talat Nasir Pasha to our studios. Professor Pasha is the Dean at the University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, Lahore. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Sahib. Dr. Sahib, first of all, please comment on the traditional methods of calf rearing practiced in our country and tell us if they are suitable. In Pakistan, there are two types of dairy farming being practiced according to the locations of the farms. One type is peri-urban in which farms located on the periphery of urban centers like Karachi, Lahore, Faisalabad, Gujranwala, Rawalpindi, etc. The other type is purely rural based. Unfortunately, in both cases, the most neglected aspect in dairy farming is calf rearing. In peri urban farming, since consumer demand is high, male calves are sent to the slaughterhouse soon after their birth. This is a big waste 
as they can be reared for better quantities of saleable meat later. Only female calves are looked after slightly better and they are fed some milk. In rural dairy farming, both male and female calves are reared to some extent. But as Dr. Nasser stated, the mortality rate is very high. According to the international standards, calves mortality rate should not be more than 5%. And to meet this requirement, proper calf rearing plays a vital role. On our rural farms, rearing is often understood as feeding calves on milk exclusively, sometimes even in excess, till they are 6 or 7 months old, as long as the calf is with the mother animal. This is absolutely not good for the calf. In the peri-urban areas, too little milk is fed to the animals, which again is too little for their needs. So, if we analyze our farming methods in both cases, there is a big scope of improvement, which would not only decrease the mortality rate, which would not only decrease the mortality rate amongst young animals, but also, as Dr. Nasset pointed out earlier, bring about a substantial increase in the production of milk and meat in our country. Dr. Saab, please highlight the importance of calf rearing in dairy farming. Dr. Sahib, these calves are actually our future herd. For instance, today's calf is the cow of tomorrow. Nowadays, if you were to purchase a good animal from a market, the costs range from 15 to 3 million rupees. However, dairy farmers have a great advantage. If raised properly, they can rear calves on their farms at a much lower cost of say approximately 75,000 rupees only. So, either for sale purposes or retaining on their own farms, the daily farmer will be earning higher revenues. But to achieve this, traditional methods of calf rearing have to be discarded and modern dairy farming techniques must be adopted. Okay, Dr. Sahib, please tell our farmers how can they rear their calves properly. Ruby, it is most important that caring for calves begins from when they are still fetuses in their mother's womb and almost two months before calving, two kilos of balanced ration are fed to her. Adding a kilogram in her morning feed and one kilogram in her evening feed, this would have beneficial effects on the growth of the fetus. Immediately after calving, animal produces the first milk or colostrum. This contains immunity raising elements and rare nutrients and must be fed to the calf immediately after birth. Most farmers believe that colostrum must be fed only after placenta excretion. This has absolutely no connection to the placenta and should be fed to the calf soon after its birth. It is also important to start offering water to calves within four days of their birth. The water must be as pure and clean as we would like for ourselves. Within a week, solid feed should be started. Even though there are special preparations available in the market for calves, but our farmers usually have an ample supply of maize which can be fed to the calves. However, care should be taken that the maize meal is clean and free from fungus. Within two months, it should be vaccinated against foot and mouth disease and hemorrhagic septicemia. They should be dewormed. Dr. Saab, you just mentioned solid feed for calves. Please explain to our farmers at what age should the calves be fed with the solid feed and how much quantity must be fed to them and what is its importance. Dr. Saab, basically the calf has four compartments of stomach. When only milk is being fed, just one compartment is activated. Farmers have to try to introduce solid feed as soon as possible so that the rest of the three compartments are also activated, thus increasing the ability to absorb more nutrients and enhance growth. Feeding of solids should be initiated one week after a calf's birth. Calf feed 
must be easily digestible and could include maize soya bean vitamin powder minerals canola meal etc once a calf starts consuming 800 grams of solid feed one time milk should be discontinued and later when its consumption increases to approximately 1100 grams of solid feed the second milk serving may also be discontinued with this effort you may be able to completely wean the calf onto solid feed within 2 months this has an additional benefit of a daily weight gain in the young animal as well Dr Saheb if our farmers were to fulfill all your suggestions what economic benefits can they look forward to Well I can tell you that if a calf is fed on milk only for say 8 months not only is milk more expensive to feed but the calf's weight gain is a meager 250 to 300 grams daily whereas it has much more potential for growth but if calves are weaned onto solids within the first 2 months local breeds of animals gain approximately 600 grams daily and cross bred animals gain about 700 grams to even 1 kg weight gain daily this would mean that if you are breeding the animals for meat they can be slaughtered earlier and profits gained or if you are raising them for milk then their early maturity will prepare them for early insemination and subsequent milk production ultimately if calves are raised according to these principles looking at it holistically just by reducing consumption of milk and feeding a calf on solid feed as advised can benefit the farmer by 10000 to 12000 rupees Now let's check out the conversation between Chaudhry Abdul Hamid and Fazlu with Saima ji on calf rearing. Ha mamarak aaj ka din tu khushi se kar jigali ho khushali ho ho khushali ho khushali ho ho khushali ha mamarak aaj ka din tu khushi se kar jigali ha khushali Why are you so cheerful, Fazlu? Ha ha ha! Chaudhary, aren't you also delighted? One of our animals has produced a lovely female calf, and you know that today's calf is tomorrow's cow, which means more milk, and obviously your business will advance. You know, Chaudhary Sahab, I predict a huge dairy farm for you very soon. To celebrate all of these auspicious happenings, I've already brought sweets to distribute to people. Well done. Here, give me a laddu. How are you doing, Chaudhary? Hey, hurry and give Saima ji some sweet too. Thank you. But what is the occasion? Our buffalo gave birth to a beautiful female calf. This is indeed good news. I hope you fed the newborn calf first milk or colostrum. Let yet. the cow excrete placenta, then we will feed the calf colostrum. The newborn calf must be fed colostrum immediately. But Saima ji, since centuries we have never fed colostrum to the calf immediately. But wait till the mother cow expels the placenta. Chaudhary Sahab, centuries ago people also wore leaves. You should also wear them now. But please don't go near the animals when you're wearing them. <laughs> Chaudhary, it is sensible to feed the newborn colostrum immediately after birth. All right, Saima ji, I'll do as you say. But please tell me if why this is necessary. According to doctors, colostrum contains vital ingredients which protect calf from disease by boosting its immunity and also helps in digestive system. In addition to its mother's milk, the calf must also be served clean water within 4 days of its birth. Really Saima ji, I am most obliged to you. The information you gave me has always benefited me. When a calf is 1 week old, solids must be introduced in its feed like fodder and concentrate. By the second week, it must be dewormed and vaccinated. You are absolutely right. I'll feed the calf colostrum right away but please tell me where do i find nearest veterinary doctor chaudhry right next to our village in the next town
really and i didn't even know that chaudhary sahab i am getting a bright idea after listening to all of this talk bright idea well not that it is possible but anyway tell me what is it if saima ji says a veterinary doctor is available so near to our village i should get you an appointment for a full medical checkup what the <laughs> hell viewers you heard the conversation of chaudhary abdul hamid and fazlu dr sahab has also given us some very important information today we have learned that using updated ideas in calf rearing can ensure profits for any dairy farm as we have heard firstly it is important to feed the newborn calf with colostrum immediately after his birth on the fourth day after its birth it must be served water and on the sixth day it must begin consuming solid feed this guarantees the calf's health and the dairy farm's success it must be dewormed and vaccinated when it is 2 weeks old as dr pasha very aptly stated today's calf is tomorrow's cow so if we want dairy farming to progress and ensure good profits we must remember that calf rearing according to the points discussed in this program must be followed thank you so much for coming to our show today dr pasha you're welcome with this our show comes to an end and dr nasir and ruby bid you farewell till we meet again with a new episode of dairy hub training program allah hafiz <laughs> <laughs>